to the high school hardwood. Big game in the FRCC tonight with both Southwest and Bayport. Off to 2-0 starts in conference play. First half, it's the smallest guy on the floor, Christian Kozik, coming down with the offensive rebound. The putback, and yes, he draws a trip to the line as well. We're all tied up. But here come the Trojans. After some quick passes, Lucas Steber finishes inside. Southwest led 31-30 at the break. And the visitors pull away in the second half. Carson Landry leading the break. No-look dish to Will Pitleski. The Trojans victorious, 69-50. Pulaski could improve to 3-0 in FRCC play with a road win at Notre Dame. Second half, Tritons trailing. Notre Dame's George Kress with a defensive board. And he's going to go coast to coast. Gets the basket and the foul, pulling the Tritons within five. Pulaski started to clamp down on the D, though Logan Lakasik steals the pass, and he takes it strong to the rim for two of his 20. Later, Trevor Steedy drives, gets his own miss, and scores. He had a game-high 21. Pulaski stays perfect in conference action. Final score, 64-54. The last two unbeaten teams in the Packerland play tonight with Southern Door hosting Pesh to go. Early on, the Bulldogs' Trent Caribou Passing it up the court to Cameron Nofke. He takes it in for the layup. Has to go. Led by seven. Southern door battles back. Max Pierre from the corner for three. It's good. Eagles going to the half up by six. Second half, more Southern door. This time, Ryan Claflin from downtown. Eagles win their record 29th straight Packerland game, 62 to 46. To the NEC, Luxembourg Casco look to move to 6-0 on the road at FBL. A good start for the Spartans. Nathan Koisman with the move inside for the hoop and the harm. LC led by 12 early on. But back come the Foxes. First, Isaiah Ullman tickles the twine from behind the three-point line. Then a little bit later, Spencer Jens. He rattles home the fall away Jay to make it a six-point contest. And is it an upset? FBL beats LC 56-44. To the FBA, Kakana welcoming in Oshkosh West. Ghosts jumping out in front early. Logan Jed Wabney saves it along the sidelines, and Jacob Newhouse will finish in transition to put Kakana up by four. Wildcats answer from behind the arc. Carter Thomas. Thomas splashes the tray to make it a three-point game. A little bit later, Braden Ivory driving down the, driving down the boulevard. Ghosts led by five, and Kakana wins tonight with a free throw in the final seconds, 78. 77. To the girls' side now, fourth-ranked Bayport looking to stay unbeaten against Southwest. First half off the miss. Southwest Lauren Lapine gets the loose change and scores the tough fadeaway, giving the Trojans the early lead. Bayport would answer back, though. Emma Nagel scores on the putback. Later on, it's Nagel who gets a hand on the pass defensively. She saves it and sets up Elena Abel for the bucket. The Pirates stay unbeaten with a 59 43 win. In the FBA, ninth ranked Appleton West taking on 4 0 Appleton North. Lightning turning defense into offense. Anna Locks corrals the loose ball. Then Nikki Van Wyke finds Locks for the bucket inside. North by six. Tears hanging around with the long ball, though. Christy Fortune from the top of the key for three. And West back within three. West eventually took the lead. Then Van Wyke frees herself up with a crossover and buries the jumper. And the Lightning just keep on rolling. They win final score 46 to 36. Finally, an undefeated duel in the EWC as Keel travels to Balder's first half. Vikings Emma Wagner spots up from the top of the key, and she drains the triple. Valder's up by eight. Keel trying to keep it close. Josie Binberzi working hard in the paint. She gets her shot to go. Here, here's Jenna Everson for Valder's driving down the lane. She gets the runner to fall. 